today we're going to continue our mini art prompts, as I'll call them, um, which are just going to be a series of projects that connect travel and art. So art for the global spirit. So I'm hoping with these, they give you ideas and inspiration on projects that you can work on on your own and, and hope to inspire you to create um, if you're looking for more technique, that will be more in my art classes. We go through art history, technique, and more specific projects. But today we're going to be doing a mixed media journal spread. And I, in my last lesson, we talked about, our last mini lesson, we talked about connection. And I talked a lot about the lessons that I have learned from travel. And we're going to continue that. So another lesson that I have learned from my travels over the years is connecting to that present moment. Um, I feel there's no better way to connect to the present moment for me than when we are traveling. Um, I think I let go of one, my laundry list of to do's. Um, I'm obviously excited and exploring someplace new or someplace that I've ever been before, but with a new perspective. Um, and I put away my phone. So for all those re reasons, it really helps me to stay present. Um, and our connection journal spread, I had used this photograph of this woman from Unsplash and she just called out to me. She really embodies that feeling of being present. So I was really inclined to do a separate journal spread just with her. So I'm adding um, some pattern elements, some textile elements, um, mixing this in with some acrylic paints. And I have some clear gesso, soft pastels, Stabilo that I'll be working with. Um, but just some symbolic things of being present and, and those hands reaching out. Um, and just, you'll see different elements that I use throughout this piece. But I truly, it's one of the greatest lessons I've learned from travel is, is this piece of, of being in the moment. Um, there's tons of books out now on, on ways to connect to the present. For me, um, art journaling has been a huge one. Travel has been huge. Yoga is great for that. Um, and there's this book, The Power of Now. Um, and, and in that book, he really talks about ways in which you can connect to that present moment. Um, you know, when you're traveling, I, I think it's so easy to do. And I, I struggle to um, do it sometimes on my day-to-day -day basis. So I'm learning um, and, and hopefully growing in that aspect to bring it to my day-to-day. -day. When I'm on the go, I just... You're connecting to cultures, you're connecting to new, different sights and different smells, um, different languages sometimes, and it's just so, it, you're so caught up in the moment um, that there's no need to think of the past or think of, you know, the future when you're exploring. And I think that's something that we can all take in as we travel. But I'm trying to add different textures in here through this journal spread. Um, I really wanted to have a really busy side of the journal and then a really quiet side. And for me, that's symbolic of, you know, our busy minds um, versus what I would call our monkey brain or um, that pure chaos that goes on sometimes in your head. So I, I'm using this spread to really show um, and represent that really quietness and that stillness of being in the present. Um, and sometimes when we're in the present, we can still have all these other different things going on in our head. So that's where that kind of contrast between the left side and the right side of the page came into play. But play around with some of your um, mark making, um, explore different patterns, think of different travels and places you've been, um, and bring in some of those elements, whether it's from nature or your textiles, and, and really bring some of that um, to add a little bit more depth to your journal spreads. And I, I'll say this over and over again, but I, you know, especially in my journals, I love mixed media because it gives you a lot of texture. I love the graphite 
over, um, you know, acrylics. I love different collage elements. I love um, found objects that you can throw into them. And, and all of this creates these really interesting layers. Um, and again, a great way to either get started on a bigger project or just really connect to your own art journey, um, no matter what stage you are in encourage you to start thinking of the trips and the times in your life that you felt present and maybe your journal spread is is just about that place or maybe you're connecting to that exact moment in time or maybe you're sitting and you're drinking a cup of coffee and you're you're reminded of the ways that you're connected just at home um, and maybe you use those as prompts in your journal spread um, but take this time to to think of that think of what helps you to be present or what moments um, from your trips from your travels that you have truly felt that you were in that moment and enjoying the people and surroundings um, around you. I know for me, I need to show up better um, for the people I love sometimes. I get, you know, distracted. I get so many ideas um, and sometimes they take me away from where I need to be at the exact moment. I think when we travel, we realize that the world is so much bigger than ourselves and it helps us get out of our heads too um, and, and really connect. You know, we're going back to that first journal, mini journal we talked about, about connection. It helps us connect to the moment. It helps us connect to people and, and that really brings you back into the time of now. Um, but, you know, play around with different styles um, in your journal, this is a great place to explore expression, um, explore different mediums, and, and just play with this idea of being present. I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned. I'm going to have lots more of these mini journal prompts and ideas. Um, the best way to follow along and be the first to know is to join our newsletter. And that's right on my website or you can click the link in my bio for more art for the global spirit. Thank you so much for following me on this journey. And I cannot wait to see what you create.